All right, well, we are kicking things off with our Wild Wednesday. We always get hands-on with our animal friends, but it's something your students can experience, too. Amanda Winter, founder of Once in a Wild, is here to introduce us to some of her animal friends. We did move the candy corn away <laughs> from the iguana. I know, you're giving me the look, I'm sorry. All <laughs> right, but we have some exciting friends to chat about today. Fiona, you got one, too. Yes, I do. <laughs> We're gonna say kind of hello to everybody, because yep. we've got this is Alice right Alice. here. She's an opossum. Okay. You're holding Princess, trying to hold her. Yes. Over here, she is a ball python. And y'all already met Joanna the Iguana. <laughs> Joanna the Iguana. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Joanna the Iguana. All right, so let's start over there. <laughs> oh, sounds good. So she's enjoying her favorite snack, which is bananas. <laughs> but she is a Virginia opossum. This is Atlas again. Um, Alice is named after Alice Cooper. And her brother's name <laughs> is, Al is actually Cooper. Um, so we have an Alice <laughs> and a Cooper. Um, it's because of the eyeliner and many other things. Oh, yeah. But um, opossum. <laughs> Are that, awesome. that Alice eating a banana is one of the cutest things I've ever seen if you see it from like straight on. I mean, it's so precious. They're allowed to eat with their mouth open, you are not. <laughs> Humans are not. It's cute when they do it. Yes. Very cute when no animals manners. do it. She's adorable. Did you know that um, opossums can actually eat almost anything they want though? No. They're um, super omnivores, which means they have all kinds of things on the menu for them. Um, they can even eat things like poisonous plants, rotten meat, and, and uh, wow. uh, venomous snakes. Now people tend to, you know, fear opossums yes. because they think, oh, they carry rabies, things right. like that, and that's not true, right? Actually, not true. There's many myths about opossums that are just not true, and they're absolutely not an animal to be afraid of. They do not attack people. In fact, you know what they do when they feel really afraid? What? what? They play dead. That's so <laughs> smart. So oh. typically, they will they actually yeah. um, maybe maybe get startled by you or your dog or something like that in your backyard. Typically, they're only out at night, so that's when you'll see them wandering mm -hmm. around, maybe eating a snack, things like that. Remember, they eat anything, so they might be in your garbage. Mm -hmm. So they get a bad rep for that. But if you startle one, corner one, they're probably going to stop and freeze, and then they're going to maybe hiss at you, um, and then they faint. <laughs> they just Aww. opt out. And they can stay passed out for four hours, so it's super convincing. Wow. They're such <laughs> thespians of the animal. <laughs> I know, very dramatic. <laughs> and, and people may be scared of rabies when it comes to Yes, them, they actually do not carry rabies. Mm -hmm. um, these guys can contract it, but they don't pass it on. So it's almost a 2% or less chance that they even get rabies. They have a very low body temperature for a mammal. They are marsupials, so marsupials share that in common too, like kangaroos. They actually have a low temperature as well for a mammal. Turn around, girl. Um, and so they don't really have any viruses. Lucky yeah. them. Good to know. Not quite yeah. your best side there, Alice. And so there you go. Uh, difference between possum and opossum. Great question. So opossums live here in the Americas. The Virginia opossum is the one that we find in Canada, um, in the United States, and Mexico. And when you go further south, you find all kinds of different tropical opossums too. And then possums are only found in Australasia. So you'll see things like the four-eyed opossum and things, or the sorry, the, the possums, which is the Another type, uh, I misspoke, it's going to be a, um, a marsupial too, but they have kind of a fluffy tail. They look more like a sugar glider than an opossum does. Uh, gotcha. So that's right. the Australian version. So different different species, but related. Good question. Now on to this cutie right here. Keep staring. Yes, I this can't is, touch, you told me, right? <laughs> yes, um, so iguanas typically get a, actually a strange reputation for being a good pet or a good animal to hold. They're really not. So this is Joanna, <laughs> Joanna the iguana. And she is a green iguana. Green iguanas live um, natively in Central and South America. And they're mm -hmm. mostly going to be in the trees, which makes them an arboreal species. They can also swim very well, too. They can be oh. down in the river swimming, too. But typically in the trees, they are vegetarian. And uh, you guys heard my fun fact about yes. the iguana early. Do you want me to yes. explain yes. that a little okay. bit? Third so eye. if you look at her head, on the top of her head, she's got a little teeny tiny, almost like a pimple on top of her head. That's called the parietal eye or the third eye. And it's actually gonna be able to show her shadows and movement when she takes a nap. So if she closes her eyes to take a nap in the trees, she can still spot hawks and eagles flying overhead. How oh, wicked. That? Neat, I right? Had no <laughs> I had no idea. And again, iguanas get a kind of an interesting reputation for being a good pet. They really are not. They do have sharp nails, mm -hmm. sharp teeth, and a big whip-like tail for defense. Is this as big as Joanna will get? I hope so. <laughs> so she is actually a female. Um, female iguanas are about half the size of a male. When you um, obtain them as a baby, you can't tell the gender, so you might end up with a male that's two or three times as big as her. So they can get pretty big of the species, but she's hopefully just about done growing. Oh, she heard that. I know, she's, she's like, like, she's looking, she's trying to intimidate you. Who's here who's bigger than me? Who's here who's bigger than me? I know, okay. where? <laughs> and now let's finish out here with Princess, the precious ball python. Princess is precious. She is a ivory colored ball python. Ball pythons come in many different colors in human care. Um, in nature, they're gonna have a pattern for like, you know, camouflage and all of that. But she's an ivory colored ball python. She's one of our two uh, ball pythons, which are prince and princess. And this species is found natively in Africa. 
and they're wonderful. The snakes get a terrible reputation too. Speaking of animals with bad reputation, um, snakes are viewed as like slimy, scary, gonna mm -hmm. bite you, and mm -hmm. most of the time it's just not true. Now there are a lot of snakes you shouldn't pick up, right? Right. right. <laughs> Don't go into your backyard, kids, or your playground, and pick up every snake you see. That's not a good idea. Um, but if you know, you know, somebody with a pet snake or something like that, it's usually fine. Ball pythons are very sweet and docile snakes, and they curl up in a ball. Yes, <laughs> that's, that's, that's why they're called, right? Yeah, ball exactly. pythons. Princess just likes to cuddle here. Here, and yeah. you of course have an event you're going to be at in the yeah. best place ever here at Market Square. The Market Square. So we're going to be here this weekend um, on Saturday and Sunday from 11 to 2. <laughs> so we hope to see you guys two. there for our animal meet and greet. All right, don't forget, <laughs> you can see the animals from once in a while here at Market Square, as she just said. All the knowledge, too. I love all the fun facts, so thank, thank you. you for that. This Saturday, yeah. September 3rd, from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. And for more information on Once in a Wild Mobile Zoo, you can head over to our, SA, our website, essaylive.com. Click the As Seen on Essay Live tab. All right.